Good afternoon, everyone. This is CJ Lawrence, CEO of Black With No Chaser. And we are here today with Secretary Miguel Cardona to discuss a little about what is happening with the current filing that took place uh, with regard to uh, student loan debt relief. Uh, I also have Angela Dennis here with me today. So uh, we're really excited to talk to you, Secretary Cardona. Thank you for being here this morning. Right. And uh, could you just first and foremost, give us some insight into what it is that's going on with this filing and why this filing occurred today? Definitely, definitely. First of all, CJ and Angela, glad to be with you. It's Thank always you. Uh, a good opportunity for us to communicate to folks out there wondering what's happening with student loans. We heard a lot about it in, in August, and and then we we know that the the loan payments are paused and and that you know there's a question on whether or not it's going to uh, happen or not. Well, look, this is an opportunity for me to clarify w where we are um, to remind folks that there are people that are fighting for you and that there are people that are fighting against you, right? Um, we we put in a brief yesterday with DOJ uh, communicating why we believe it is under my authority uh, to provide debt relief under the HEROES Act, uh, which was passed by Congress. So basically yesterday we, we submitted to the courts um, our rationale on why we believe we do have the right to do this. Ultimately what's gonna happen is the courts are gonna decide um, on this, and we're going to have our uh, loan payments paused until that happens. Um, but basically, yesterday was an example of how we're fighting for you. Um, there are 40 million people right now that could benefit from it. Some people could benefit $20,000 in debt relief based on the president's plan. And we're eager to roll up our sleeves and fight, put up a good fight because we're confident we're going to win this one. Uh, actually, the 40 million uh, Americans that are waiting on debt relief are going to win this one. Okay. And I'm glad that you, you brought up the HEROES Act. Uh, I took a, the liberty to, to just check into it a little bit. So the, the HEROES Act is was born out of 2000, the 2001 September 11th, mm -hmm. which was considered a national disaster. Uh, is the same premise here, essentially, to take the pandemic and look at it also as a natural disaster? And um, that's where the, the, the perspective came from to uh, right. lead with your with, with with your leadership absolutely uh, and absolutely absolutely it gives me the authority um uh under a national emergency to to provide some waivers and look this is not the first time it was used in the last three to four years loan uh payment pauses uh were done in the last administration under the same heroes act authority to waive so okay. That's why we feel very confident, not only that we extended the pause, but we're also providing some debt relief under the same national emergency provision under the HEROES Act. Thank you. Angela, I'll pass it to you. Okay. Hi, my name is Angela Dennis. It's good to have you here. Um, one question that I did want to um, focus on is I understand that last month the Biden administration um, made filing bankruptcy more of a possibility to, to discharge student loan debt. And if the student debt forgiveness doesn't go through with the administration, will the administration look to push or even expand um, on this avenue even more? Yeah, thank you for that question, Angela, because I think you're, you're really getting to the heart of what we're trying to do in this administration. Right. Loan forgiveness is a fraction of it. It's a part of it. Right. We're trying to make higher education more accessible, more affordable, so that uh, Americans across the country could benefit from it. And the reality is, let's be honest, right? It's been accessible to some people more than others. And unfortunately, people that look like me and you sometimes don't have the access. So what we're trying to do is provide greater access, greater affordability. How are we doing that? Public service loan forgiveness, right? We're doing it through borrower defense, going after those institutions that take advantage of people. They sell them a bill of goods and then they don't deliver. We're, we're discharging those debts people with total and permanent disabilities, right? Loan forgiveness, we're doing college accountability. We're changing the bankruptcy laws because it's, you know, we have a lot of folks who are chasing the American dream and they go through hard times. It shouldn't, they shouldn't be tethered in debt for the rest of their life. Right. So yes, these provisions are all part of the bigger plan that the uh, Biden-Harris team have to make higher education more accessible to more Americans, make it more affordable. So, you know, whether we, we feel confident is gonna prevail. But we're going to continue to fight. It's right. really important that you ask that because 
the loan forgiveness piece is only a fraction of it. We're going to continue to fight for borrowers. We're going to continue to fight for more access to higher education. And what you mentioned, um, what we've done to make uh, bankruptcy filings more possible um, is an example of that. And we're going to continue to do things like that. And income-driven repayment, I didn't mention that. Right. But we're trying to work on making repayment of loans more manageable. A lot of people don't go to college because they're afraid of the costs. We right. got to work on making it more affordable because we know higher education. We have a brilliant students who are thinking about uh, not going to college because of the fear of the costs. So not only did we forgive $48 billion in loans, we're trying to make the process much smoother for uh, people that want to have access to higher education. Right. Thank you for that. Um, maybe last, I think we just have what, maybe one more minute. Um, of course, we want to hope that this this goes through, but if if it does not, does the Biden administration have a contingent, contingency plan and, and what would that look like? Right. You know, and as I said in the previous question, this loan forgiveness piece is a fraction of what we've been doing from day one. I mean, the president was really clear with me. He said, we need to make college more affordable. We need to make sure that we're looking out for the borrower and the student. Right. So from day one, we've been putting in different policies that are rolling out to make sure that we're taking care of the borrower, making sure college is more affordable. We're also cracking down on those colleges that are taking advantage of students. So we're not gonna stop fighting. We feel right. confident in this um, lawsuit. We feel very confident. We know we have the legal authority to do it. Right. But we're not gonna stop fighting with this and outside of this to make sure that we're making college more accessible. Look, I'm a first gen college student myself and I was navigating that space and it was, it was a little scary. There's yeah. so many talented individuals in our schools right now that need to have access to higher education. Think about the potential of this country if all of our students have access to higher education without feeling like they're going to be tethered in debt for the rest of their lives. That's what we're fighting for, uh, Angela. And yes, loan forgiveness is a part of it, but it's a it's a it's an important part, but it's only a part of it. We're doing many other things and we're not going to stop doing things. That's why it's important for the people to hear the Biden Harris administration is fighting for borrowers. And there are people that are fighting to stop us. So just, I want people to realize that this briefing yesterday is an example of how we're fighting for the American people. Secretary Cardona, if I could just ask you a couple more questions. One of them is, uh, well, the, the application process was paused once the Missouri and Texas filings took place. Um, should the Supreme Court rule uh, in the departments of education's favor, uh, would it then open up again the application process so that more people can then continue yeah. to apply for uh, debt relief. Definitely, CJ. I mean, you know, you, you're spot on. These lawsuits stopped us from taking applications. But let me just go back a couple steps. You know, when you think about applying for a Department of Education or, you know, you don't think of things being simple, right? You think of things being complicated, taking a long Unknown time. Unknown caller. And what we ended up doing is we rolled out a process that could be done in less than five minutes. And because of that, I think the first weekend we got, before we even announced it, before we publicized it, we got 8 million people to apply successfully. Um, we went up to like 16 million. We have more than 26 million people's information on file, ready to go. Um, and that was paused due to a lawsuit. Um, now those lawsuits have gone up to the Supreme Court. We're confident we're going to win that. But once we do win that, it'll open it up again and we're going to, we're going to actively recruit to make sure that everybody that's eligible gets the benefit of up to $20,000 in debt relief so they could go buy a house so that they can help their children with college. You know, I've heard from people across the country in my travels of what this will mean for them. This is helping regular Americans get back on their feet, just like we helped businesses in the past. We're helping everyday Americans get back on their feet uh, post pandemic. I appreciate you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you, Erica. Thank well. you so much. And it was it was, a, it was a pleasure having you on. He's like, Erica was the voice from God coming in. We don't see her, but we hear <laughs> right. her. Right. Hey, look, this is important stuff. And I appreciate what you're doing because it's really important for the black and brown community to understand. Right. There's a fight going on. There's people looking out for them. There's people trying to stop what we're doing. So thank you for what you're doing to get the message out. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Appreciate you. And thank you, Erica, as well. All right, have a good day. Great day. All right. Y'all too.